Hey guys, uh, here's a, a quick video um, showing how I set up my uh, transmitters uh, to work with the ICON uh, bailout feature. So um, I've got two transmitters here. I've got my uh, DX8 and I've got my uh, DX18. I wanted to show the DX8 since uh, I'm sure a lot more of you have that and uh, it's a little bit different in how you would do the setup since you can't uh, just simply assign uh, switches um, to mixes, meaning you have to pretty much give up a channel uh, to do what I like to do for bailout. So on the DX8, um, I use this switch to um, select the flight mode. So this is flight mode one, flight mode, or flight setup two, flight setup three. And so uh, in the flight setup one, bailout is disarm. And then here, here, in either of these two positions, bailout's arm. So what I normally, this is my throttle hold switch. I don't like this one. I use this one here. So, uh, so what I do is I take off, I'm in setup one, uh, helicopter spools up. And then uh, as I get airborne, I just yank that switch down. It's easy to find because it's high up. I like the, the longer switch. Uh, and then as I want to bail out, you know, I can I can flick into hold, flick back out as I'm flying around, uh, and it works great, just like that. Um, and so I like this method. You know, there's other ways to do it. I think most guys. You know, and also, just want to note that with this kind of setup, I've got uh, three flight three flight modes here: uh, normal mode, idle up, idle two. Right, so I don't give anything up, and my, my normal mode um, is a full 3D flight mode, uh, and then idle up is the, you know, whatever I want there. Um, some guys have the normal mode still, so they take off like an airplane. I don't like that, because if I forget, I crash, so no thanks. Um, so to do this on the DX8, what you do is, uh, first thing you have to do is basically give up a channel, assign the channel um, to the switch, and so what I've done uh, is on the channel assignment. See, so switch select. Um, I have I use the gov output to, instead of using throttle curves. It's just way easier to do because it's automatic flat curves. So I've got gov uh, to aux three. Um, and then if you go back back to the main menu, um, and then if you go down to governor. And the governor's what I'm using to control the throttle channel. Uh, I've got you know the three different speeds that the icon uses. <laughs> throttle hold. I, I mainly use my DX18 now. I don't use the DX8 at all. So I just quickly set this up to show you. Um, and then for the mixing, um, to get this switch to uh, do the idle on bailout, what I do is I go to mix one. And now I'm taking aux3, which is the switch that we assigned to aux3, which also does the flight setups. And I mix it into gov. So unfortunately now I've wasted a channel. There's no way to just say like this switch assigned to this function, but it is what it is. And then here I've you know basically done 20%, which uh, you might want to probably end up something like 23 or 24 to get the low RPM idle. And this this is when you're actually in bailout and you're bench testing it, and I'll show this in the next video, you're adjusting this number to get the idle that you want. Uh, and then uh, importantly down here you want to just have this mix active in throttle hold. So you don't select normal, you don't select one, you don't select two. So that's basically uh, the, the setup on the DX8. And then on the DX18, um, it's a little bit easier to do. So uh, here, I'm a little bit loud. So I go to channel assign, and what I can do is, and go to the next screen, um, what I do is I say aux3 to, uh, to switch E. So if you look right here, this is switch E. And this is the same flight setup, flight setup 1, flight setup 2, flight setup 3. Bailouts disarm uh, and bailouts armed in either one of these two positions. So the way I use it is it's in setup 1 when I take off. The EC won't arm unless it's in setup 1. I'm in uh, my slowest head speed. I, f I flick out a hold, I take off, and I go fly. Uh, if I want to use bailout, I arm it, and then I can hit throttle hold, flip out as much as I want during the flight, and that works really well. Okay, um, so I go to the main menu. Okay, um, so here I'm actually using throttle curves instead of the governor menu. I'd rather use the governor menu, but I'm not for now. Um, and so in here, you see I've got the three different flight modes set up, all all 3D flight modes, never a zero in here, which is great. Uh, and then what I do is I go to mixing and then uh, here I've got 
the uh, program mix one and what I've done is E like switch E so here I can actually use a switch I don't have to dump a channel to make this work I've got E to throttle and then here it's a negative number in the DX18 they changed a little bit how they do it but it's minus 24 percent to get the low RPM that I want uh, during bailout so I have like the 100 200 RPM and then I just select uh, hold but only be active in flight mode hold not normal one or two and that's pretty much it for that so now one uh, one warning um, this is what I, I pretty much consider this a, a current bug and how it's implemented because it doesn't happen with like um, other external governor uh, flyboiler systems that I've used so what can happen is when you first power on the model you're in hold in the ESC arms if you happen to be in flight setup uh, two or three because you've now you have this mix that you see won't arm. So with castle, you won't hear the, the arming beep. So you got to be in setup one and it arms. Okay, once it arms, uh, if you're on the ground, normally you flip flip out a hold to spool up the model. Well, now if you happen to flip this switch down to setup two or three, the model will spool up to your slow RPM. Um, so there's really two switches now that cause the rotors to turn. Won't go to full speed. It's not dangerous like uh, throttle as dangerous as throttle hold, but it's something to note. Um, the the flybrother system, what it should do is uh, not allow you to pass this low RPM until it's reached the the head the heads the target head speed once. Then it allows it to pass it through, and this makes it uh, possible to use ESCs like Castle that have their own soft start uh, instead of only using the soft start uh, built into the icon. And you know you really want to use the soft start in the ESC since it's a lot smoother. So that's a note of caution. Um, I'm hoping uh, they'll fix it in a, in a later release. But for now, just remember that uh, once you're on the ground and your arm, you don't want to bump the switch while you're carrying the model because it will start turning. Uh, so it, you know it's a bad thing. Um, if, if you if you're worried about this, you can put the ESC in multi rotor mode, and then uh, it, it won't have that problem because uh, you don't have to worry about the soft start. But then you can't use idle on bailout, meaning you can't have that low RPM that makes the, the spool up a lot smoother during bailout. So there's some pluses and minuses here. If you're willing to live with this, you can live with it. Um, otherwise, uh, you can use multi rotor mode and then hand everything off and, and just have a, a little bit harder soft start. Okay, thanks a lot.